like live yeah and die, die. Yeah. <laughs> live it's a risk indicator yeah. <laughs> being changed well you saw the time the ignition timing chain but yeah you know, you're not smoking there's a maybe a Something's problem wrong. <laughs> yeah you're out of water oh you know pretty substantial fast oh, that rear brakes which is kind of a big touch yeah it has a four stroke yeah. yeah. Water's going through that. Yeah, there's somewhere. water that goes all around them. Hi, I'm Randy Popst, and I'm in Elkhart Lake at Throttle Stop. And before me is a motorcycle I have always admired and wondered about. It's a Scott Flying Squirrel and this one is from 1928. The 20s, pre-depression era. We're going way back to the very beginnings of internal combustion transportation here. This bike is a runner and we're going to go out and take it on the road today and see what it's like. Ryan? So I'll we'll start with the fuel. Wait, let me what do we got? We got a fuel pet cock. Yep, right Is that there. On? That's on. Inline. Inline. Yep. And then the same with the oil down there. Gonna turn on Rotate the two-stroke oil. You forward. put that in line like this. Yep. And, and I think we can get away with just choking the carb a little bit with this lever here. I see it flowing through the sight glass. Yep. Yeah, it'll build up in there. Okay, so choke. Choke is on. This is all like a modern Modern bike. British bike, At least yeah. 70s or 80s carbureted bikes. Yep. And then... Uh, throw a leg over. Throw a leg over it. Give it a swift kick with a little oh. touch of throttle. It's so light, light. between your like legs. like a motocross it's so, bike. Everything is so low. So light. All right, we're in gear. I'm going to find neutral, which is down or half. To, okay, got neutral. Got a little choke. Choke, yep. And is that off? That's on right now. On. Yep. Off is that way? Yep. Okay. So just a touch of throttle and Look then a kick. A front brake. Yeah. This all feels pretty normal. A little bit of throttle, just a little. One kick, baby! Let's take a look at this Scott Flying Squirrel in a little bit more detail. This is a 28 and it has a Springer front end with friction style shock absorbers here. Pretty common at the time. A steering dampener at the top of the triple tree. A Smith chronometric speedometer up there that goes all the way to about 125 miles an hour. I think that was a little optimistic for the Flying Squirrel. But it was a quick bike in its day. In fact, finishing third at the Isle of Man TT race in 1928. There it is, the race setup, like the drag setup. This bar shape is very unusual for the 20s. It needs to come straight back. Engines, in fact, are painted depending on whether or not they're the street model, which was red. Feels like racing, but back then, red for Scott on the street model, green for the racing model. It's a two-stroke, has a lot of creative features. For one, the drive chain comes off the middle of the crankshaft. Almost every other bike I've ever seen, it comes off of one side. It's a non-unit. So the engine is one unit, the transmission is separate. This is how cars still are today. But in motorcycles, much later, they combine them into a, into a unit. Riding a bike is a lot like a modern bike, frankly. The controls are all very similar. As a ride across, you know, very unique. Oh, I can hear that 
It's a 500cc vertical twin, and it goes back to a chassis that's a hardtail, perfectly common for the day, with a sprung seat for comfort, a beautiful and unique fuel tank design. Another amazing feature for 1928, it has an oil pump. In other words, you don't pre-mix the fuel for this two-stroke. And it has this incredibly beautiful work of art, the honeycomb style radiator. There's no play in the steering. I've been on a couple of old bikes, but a real wobbly. This is not. This thing is solid. First gear about 25 miles an hour, it's just getting warmed up. The Scott Flying Squirrel is a bike I've always wanted to try that I never dreamed I'd ever get the chance. Just can't get over the thrill of the opportunity to ride one. Always wanted to try it out. And it's super cool. And you can see this video and more like it at the Throttle Stop YouTube page, Facebook, Instagram. Don't miss it. There's so many cool cars and bikes. You can catch it for real and get a taste of the unique, special, even exotic bikes and cars that Throttle Stop is full of.